Okay, how we doing? I'm Jake Shaw, and uh, I'll be presenting my Behance portfolio. Um, to start off, this is uh, Project 1, Part A. Um, this is just me getting used to uh, Photoshop a little bit. Um, I tried to make the focus of the entire image, um, making it unique at different points, so that it would be easier to make my overall um, pattern. Um, for Part B, I created uh, nine separate boxes with similar focuses in each box and uh, created a pattern within my pattern. Um, and then down here with part C, um, I chose my favorite area of the pattern and then I made it the main focus of the image. I thought it was easier to do this because I was able to use the brightening tool to brighten the square of the, of the image and uh, brings the focus to the overall image. So for the next project, we have project two, which is the self-portrait. Um, this was probably my favorite project out of all of them. Um, this was like my real introduction to Photoshop. I was able to use a lot of the tools to make the blends. Um, and I went into uh, really detail into the bike. Um, I was able to trace my image right behind it, which was made it easier. And I think my favorite part of this image is the, the shadow. <laughs> And then this is the first filter I got going on, just outlines and uh, choose a certain colors and outlines of them. I thought just this looked cool with um, the red and the blue. And then this is the next filter I got going on. This is um, just a little black and white. I just thought it looked cool with the different shades of color that we have. This brings out more of like the sun image behind me. And then this one is just a little bit more... Um, a little more cartoony, a little um, uh, brightened up a little bit. And uh, yeah, this was probably my favorite project out of all of them. Um, I just like how I was able to make it look so realistic compared to the picture. So for project three, we've created a collage. Um, I would have to say this is one of my least favorite projects of the course. Um, I just wasn't really sure what to do with the hands and how to make them look re uh, realistic with the collage. But um, I just took a picture of my arm here and then my, both of my hands. I uh, decreased some opacities and uh, made a little dissolve effect over here. And then for my collage, um, just picking random things out of uh, the pictures that we were given from the links. Um, I was able to do an eye. I was able to fill a little gradient on uh, down here with another eye. And I took a picture of... Um, my blanket behind me to give me this texture along with a couple of my slippers. So for project four we have the Alpha Bestiary project. Um, as you can see I did an ostrich and used the letter O. Um, I also liked this project a lot. I liked how um, we were only given a letter and an animal so we had to choose what we wanted to do. I was debating on whether doing an octopus or an ostrich but I just thought an ostrich would be cool because um, I already saw one of the uh, octopuses, but um, this project um, got me introduced to Illustrator a little bit more, got to play with different colors and how to use this line segment tool and the pen tool. Um, I thought it was a little difficult um, to have to warp some of the uh, texts, such as like the letters of ostrich and, and the sun, but uh, definitely uh, one of my more favorite projects of the course. So for project five, we have the Line and Space project. Um, this was another project that I enjoyed. However, I did find it a little difficult with having to deal with the line and space of the image. Um, I didn't know how to completely finish the line part because I thought that it would be easier to understand um, like shadows and certain textures with looking at the colors. So I thought that it was kind of difficult to make the lines because I can't really see how it looks without the colors. But um, and down here we have the regular image. Um, I enjoyed using live paint. I thought it was really easy. Um, once again, I don't like how um, it took me so long to figure out what colors I want where because I had to consider the lines. But overall, I would say another great project. I also wish that I added a little bit more detail to the big tree in front. Um, 
And finally, for Project 6, we have the animated GIF. Um, I liked this project as well because we were given some guidelines um, based on COVID uh, times. And I just like, uh, it was something new that we got to learn, how to uh, use Illustrator and Photoshop, and how to make things move smoothly or raggedly. I wish I could have added a, a little bit more smooth motion to um, the mask swaying, um, but I think that the fan looks great. I was able to set a, a good timing for that, and um, I also liked just choosing a bunch of different things to include on the picture. Um, and putting some, some good detail into them. My roommate actually was the one that uh, recommended to make the smoke bigger instead of moving back and forth, and I definitely think it turned out uh, better than I expected. So um, thank you for watching.